Not every fairy tale ends with happily ever after. Mario and Princess Peach's marriage was far from happy. As each of them got busy with their own responsibilities, they no longer had time for each other. We need to talk. I'm exhausted. Let's talk later. Don't you care about me anymore? Every day I try to protect this kingdom and you. What more do you want? The endless arguments made their relationship tense. But I feel so lonely. I need you, Mar... Mario! Peach? What's wrong? Wake up! Wake up! Someone call a doctor! Princess Peach suddenly huh. passed away, causing everyone to be bewildered and terrified. Huh. Princess, what happened? You were fine just now? <laughs> The whole kingdom plunged into grief and mourning over this great loss. The funeral of the princess was attended by the entire population, who came to pay their respects and express their deep sorrow for her. Oh, princess, why did you leave so soon? I hadn't had the chance to thank you for the coat you gave me on the cold winter night. Even though we were just servants, you always smiled and helped us. Thanks to the princess, the magical peaches could generate energy for the entire kingdom to sustain life. Since Princess Peach passed away, the magical peaches lost their power. The kingdom no longer had enough energy to maintain activities. She did so much for the kingdom. Without her, the magical peach is withering. What will happen to the kingdom? <laughs> huh? oh. oh no! I accidentally cut Peach's life thread. This is a disaster! Grim Reaper? What did you just say? Mario! Oh, hello. Nothing. I was just, um, touring. This grave is beautiful, isn't it? You said you cut what by mistake? I didn't cut Peach's life thread by mistake. Oops. So it was you! Stop right there! Don't blame me! There were too many pink-dressed princesses in the fairy tale world, and I got confused. Confused? Then bring Peach back now! I can. I'll be punished if they find out. It's terrifying! You have to do it! No one else can go to the realm of the dead but you! Aha! I can take you down there, Mario! Find Peach and return before dawn! Is that possible? I'm not dead! What if they find out? Here, take this bone of mine, hold it, and you won't be detected! If you don't return before dawn, you'll slowly vanish until there's nothing left of your soul. Remember that? Alright, I'll bring Peach back. So, Mario stepped into the realm of the dead, beginning his quest to find Princess Peach's soul. At this time, Princess Peach was still confused and scared in the realm huh? of the dead. Her lost and frightened appearance made her a target for other evil spirits teasing. Luckily, a brave dog appeared to protect Princess Peach. Don't bully others! Thank you for saving me! Are you okay? I'm Togo, and I like helping others. My old master loved helping people, too! I'm Princess Peach, but I don't understand why I passed away and I'm here, Togo. Everyone says that when they pass away. But I know a place that can answer that question. 
Follow me. So Peach followed Togo to the Soul Management Office. I have a soul that died for unclear reasons. I'm super busy right now. Go search the files over there yourself. Okay, thanks. So grumpy. Amidst the huge pile of documents, they began searching for Peach's file. On Mario's side, he searched everywhere for Peach, asking one spirit after another, but no huh? one knew about the princess. <laughs> Huh? A blonde in a pink dress? She just ran past over there. Where? Huh? Huh? There's a frog with blonde hair in a pink dress. Never mind. Get out of the way. On his way, Mario suddenly encountered an old man being bullied by huh? evil spirits. Mario bravely taught them a lesson. What's going on today? First a dog, now this short guy. I'm letting you off, shorty. <laughs> Thank you, young man. Have you seen a princess spirit with blonde hair and a pink dress? Mm. <laughs> you should go to the soul management office over there. They have information on every soul here. Thank you, sir. The Grim Reaper didn't mention anything about a soul management office. Made me search everywhere. <laughs> Mario wandered around looking for the soul management office, but accidentally tripped, dazing himself. <gasps> Mario! Mario! Come to me! Peach, is that you? Mario got lost in the fog, dazedly following Peach's voice to the river of grievances. Come, Come down, down here! here. Come, Come here! here. Take, Take my place! place. I'm, I'm wronged. wronged! Mario, come down here with me and leave the kingdom behind! Huh? You're not Peach. She would never abandon her kingdom. <laughs> Mario regained his senses, breaking free from the trap. Huh? Focusing on heading to the Soul Management Office to find Peach. Mario finally arrived at the Soul Management Office, but found many terrifying wardens patrolling inside. Mario carefully tried to pass, but couldn't escape the warden's suspicion. Hey you! Stop right there! Mario anxiously <gasps> ran away, avoiding the warden's <gasps> pursuit. By chance, he ran <gasps> right to Peach. <laughs> Peach, <gasps> there you are! The Grim Reaper cut your life thread by mistake. We need to return quickly. Mario, you came to find me? Oh, I knew you still loved me, Mario. You there! Come out! Run! Oh, oh! Get on me quickly! Togo swiftly carried Peach and Mario up high, fleeing from the Wardens. While escaping and dodging attacks from the Wardens, Togo accidentally crashed into a giant spirit. Peach, is that you? Kong, help us! The Wardens are trying to catch us! Huh? Kong immediately attacked, smashing the Warden's ships, causing them to fall. Let's hide at my place for a while. Everyone seems tired. <laughs> Kong took Peach's group to a shelter for them to rest. Thank you, Kong. Luckily, you still remember me. <laughs> of course. How could I forget the princess? 
Huh? Let's go back, Peach. The kingdom needs you. Huh? Really? Let's go. Wait. Didn't you come to find me because you needed me? Mario didn't answer Peach, but resolutely pulled her along. Hm. I won't go back. If I have to return to that lonely place, I'd rather stay here with Kong and Togo. At that moment, the wardens tracked them down and attacked, trying to capture Mario. Catch the short guy in the red hat! Fine. If you want to stay, then stay. Mario left Peach behind, focusing on escaping the pursuing wardens. In a moment of unexpected danger, Peach rushed out to take the blow for Mario. Peach! Why did you protect me? At this moment, Mario's body began to fade and weaken. Taking advantage of the situation, the wardens captured Mario. Fortunately for them, Kong once again came to the rescue. There's not much time left. Peach, quickly take Mario huh? back. I'll stay here to hold off the guards. Huh? Uh, Togo, sniff this bone and take us to the Grim Reaper. Ow, ow, got it! Togo quickly led Mario and Peach back to the entrance. Mario came through. Mario! Hurry up! Dorn's approaching! Despite huh? Togo's efforts, he couldn't get his two friends back to the living world in time. M mario Mario, wake up! Peach, you're safe. Thank goodness. I'm sorry huh? for not paying attention to you. Save your strength! We'll return together! Peach, thank you. I love you. I love you too, Mario. I'm sorry, both of you. No, Mario will disappear. Open the door! Open the door! <laughs> Suddenly, the Grim Reaper appeared. Huh? and brought Mario and Peach back. Mario, you're healthy again! <laughs> Peach, you're really back! We made it! Huh? Oh no! Oh no! I'm gonna be punished! No! Ugh. Grim Reaper, why did you save us? I thought you weren't allowed to do that. It was my fault anyway. I'll take responsibility for my mistake. You, Grim Reaper. Because of you, the world's in chaos. Get ready to be punished. So soon. I'm not ready yet. How about another time? Hey, stop right there. My life is so miserable. Togo Kong! <laughs> Goodbye, Peach! Mario! Don't join us too soon. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you both for your help. From now on, I'll be there to help and share with you, Peach. Trust me. From that day on, Peach and Mario <laughs> continued to write new <laughs> chapters in their story together. Everyone knows the timeless story of the hero who rescues the princess. He overcomes every obstacle and defeats monsters just to be with her. But what if the princess doesn't want to be rescued? Subscribe to Roa Fairy Tales to find out. That day was a special day. The people of the Mushroom Kingdom gathered at the castle for Princess Peach's prospective husband <laughs> selection ceremony. Even the plumbing brothers, Mario and Luigi, were invited. I wonder who will be the lucky one to win Princess Peach's heart. Definitely not you. Thank you all for coming to today's event. Now, I will announce Peach's future husband. The lucky man is... Unfortunately, Peach's suitor selection ceremony was ruined by Bowser, the infamous monster of the kingdom. Don't harm the princess!
The princess belongs to me. We won't let that happen. <laughs> Bowser ran quickly out of the castle gate and jumped into a sewer pipe, disappearing from sight. Distraught by his daughter's abduction, the king was willing to do anything to bring her back. Whoever rescues the princess will be appointed as the royal knight. I will provide as much gold as needed just to bring my daughter back here. Your Majesty, mm. don't worry. We will surely bring the princess back. Please entrust us with this mm. task. The king trusted Mario and Luigi mm. because of their bravery in the past. He provided them with weapons to aid them in battle. Mm. Eh? Hmm. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the princess's life depends on you two. Mm. Mm -hmm. On their way to Bowser's fiery fortress, Mario and Luigi encountered many Koopa Troopas, Goombas, and even a man-eating plant. But they were no match for the power of the two brothers. I will marry the princess and become the richest man in the Mushroom Kingdom. I will buy houses bigger than the king's castle. Come on, you're thinking too far ahead. Let's focus on saving the princess. Finally, they arrived at Bowser's massive fortress. In front of the fortress was a bubbling river of lava with no bridge to cross. <laughs> But the sight inside was not what they expected. Mm. Princess Peach was cuddled in the arms of a stranger and did not look like she was in danger. Mm. What are you doing here? We were sent by the king. Mm. Who are you? Why are you with the princess? It's me, Bowser. Mm. Don't lie. Mm. Please calm down and let us explain. Mm. Behind the weird couple mm. was a tragic story. Mm. In the past, Bowser and Peach wow. were secretly lovers. Mm. Bowser loved Peach and had saved her many times from kidnappers and thieves who wanted to harm her. <laughs> Peach gradually fell for him and accepted his love. They met secretly, but one day, they were discovered by the king. Mm. Your majesty uh. opposed their relationship. Uh. 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 You were forbidden to get close to my daughter. She was the only princess of the kingdom, and she could not be with a monster. Their appearance and backgrounds did not match. Bowser still mm. sent letters to Peach. In one of them, he proposed uh. to plan a kidnapping to mm. be together. Peach thought her father would never accept Bowser, as he was mm. a monster. She needed to create a device that could turn Bowser into a human. The main <laughs> ingredient was a rare rainbow mushroom, which the Mushroom Kingdom had only one of. It was carefully guarded in the kingdom's basement, and only royalty could access it. When Peach and Bowser returned to the castle, they attempted to huh? create a magical crown oh. from the rainbow mushroom. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> the magical crown succeeded in turning Bowser into a human. They planned to ask the king for permission to be together. After finishing the plan, Bowser sadly hmm. held Peach's hand. He just wanted to be with the one he loved. I understand now. So you did everything for Peach. All right. I will help you explain to the king. <gasps> no! It must be you who cast spell on Peach. <clears throat> How could she love a monster like you? <clears throat> that purple mushroom is an unfinished experiment of my father's. Eating it will make you huge, but the side effect is a permanent change in personality, becoming violent forever. The king must have known the truth, but he stubbornly gave the mushroom to Luigi, desperate to bring Peach back. Peach will be my wife. The Mushroom Kingdom will also belong to me. Wake up, Luigi! Bowser angry grabbed a Koopa and threw it at Luigi, who easily hit it back. He then ran to help Mario hold on to Luigi. 
Luigi struggled and collided with both of them so hard they were thrown and fainted. Luigi held onto Peach tightly and smashed the door to escape. It took a while for Mario and Bowser to regain consciousness. <laughs> Let's go. We need to ask for help. Mario and Bowser worked together to go to the nearby Ice Kingdom. Hmm? In front of the Penguin King, Mario and Bowser told everything and knelt down to beg for help. I'm afraid I can't help you. The side effects of that dangerous purple mushroom cannot be measured. In desperation, hmm? Bowser saw a chest under the king's golden throne. Hmm. He remembered that the Ice Kingdom held the Hope Star, a powerful artifact that made its huh? bearer invincible. My crown can turn anyone who wears it into a human. Do you want to trade your Hope hmm. Star for this <gasps> crown? Are you crazy? What you're afraid of becoming a monster forever? It's okay. For me, Peter's safety is the most important thing. The Penguin King hmm. pondered for a moment and agreed to the exchange of his artifact. The Penguin King was quite superficial and obsessed with the beauty of humans. He planned to give the crown to his wife to become a beautiful woman. With the star in hand, Mario and Bowser returned to the Mushroom Kingdom. The Mushroom Kingdom used to be bustling, but now it is quiet. Hurry up! We need lots of purple <gasps> mushrooms and weapons! I'll take the entire <laughs> army to conquer other kingdoms! Luigi <gasps> locked up the king in the dungeon, and now he rules the entire kingdom. What are you doing here? Let the peach go, Luigi! <laughs> You okay? Are you hurt anywhere? I'm fine, but where is your crown? Oh, I traded it for the star from Mario. But... <laughs> Quickly, go make the antidote for Luigi. I'll stay here to help Mario. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy, Luigi. I won't let you get away with this. What can you do? You and that turtle monster. You're nothing. Looks like I have to teach you a lesson. <laughs> is mine! <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. Wake up, Luigi! The pig doesn't love you! Hmm? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Mario summoned all his strength from the Hope Star. He released a huge flame that was so strong it almost burned Luigi. But Mario didn't know that the purple mushroom had also given Luigi a power equivalent to the Hope Star. At that moment, Peach appeared with the antidote for Luigi. Oh, did I cause this? Are you okay, Luigi? I'm truly sorry, everyone. I didn't expect things to go this far. Uh, it's okay. It's all over now. Luigi, I gave you a weapon to save my daughter, but instead, you played a trick like that? I'm truly sorry, Your Majesty. But it's also my fault for giving you the purple mushroom. I was wrong this time. I forgive you. But you're not allowed to think about Peach anymore. Yes, your majesty. The people around began to whisper uh. about Bowser and Peach. <laughs> Feeling embarrassed, the king expressed his disapproval. <sighs> Father, everything was a play that Bowser and I staged. But it was all because we wanted you to accept our love. 
I made a crown for Bowser to become human, but he exchanged it for the star. <laughs> but even if he couldn't become human, I still love him. Please understand, Father. Your Majesty, please allow me to be with Peach. I promise to protect her and the Mushroom Kingdom for the rest of my life. Do you really love my daughter? Mm. Apparently convinced mm. by the love that knows no boundaries <sighs> between Bowser and Peach, <laughs> the king finally accepted mm. the two. The king held a grand wedding for <laughs> Bowser and Peach. Thank you very much. From now on, you will always be the hero that this Mushroom Kingdom needs. <laughs> yes, Your Majesty. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. <laughs> And congratulations to the two of you. I hope you'll be happy together. Bowser and Peach prove that regardless of their origins, everyone deserves to have a love that is complete and fulfilling. From then on, they live happily ever after. Ah, uh, it's that oh. Princess Amy. She looks so huh? beautiful. Oh, no, don't push me. Thank you for your affection. <laughs> Amy and Lever are two princesses of the kingdom of Toria. The sisters differ in appearance. Their enthusiastic nature to help others is the same, but the outcomes are quite different. <gasps> this is yours! <laughs> well, you ruined it! One day, princes from neighboring countries come to the kingdom of Torio to propose marriage. To welcome the princes, the king organizes a royal <laughs> feast. Hmm. Ooh. Wow. Let me help. Cake looks beautiful. Ah, ah! Ah! <gasps> oh no! <gasps> Are you all right? <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> Are you hurting anywhere? <gasps> <gasps> Lever thinks Prince oh. Jack is her destiny, <laughs> but sometimes fate is so ironic. <laughs> Why does everyone love her? <laughs> oh, Princess, what troubles you so? No one likes me. Is it because I'm ugly? <laughs> I've seen Princess Amy wear makeup all the time. Your face is also beautiful. Mm. If you put on makeup, you wouldn't be less pretty than Princess Amy. Really? <laughs> From then on, Princess Leva locks herself in her room, and no one knows what she's doing. All right, today I'll try putting on makeup. Now to apply all four colors to my cheeks. <coughs> <coughs> oh my, what is this? I can't give up so easily. <laughs> hmm. <gasps> uh, uh. <laughs> How can I become beautiful? The flowers are so beautiful. Huh? Whoever eats these beautiful petals will become as lovely as them. <gasps> Where did they go? Ah, so beautiful. Could what they said be true? <laughs> Lever, influenced by a casual <coughs> remark, begins eating flower petals instead of food. <laughs> Why? Why doesn't it work? <gasps> Lever, what's going on? I've been out and didn't know you were fasting. I don't want to <gasps> see you! I'll make your favorite porridge. I think I was too harsh with her. She even made porridge for me. Mm. <gasps> she doesn't care about me. She's out with Jack now. Hmm. Mm. <sighs> Leave.
Leva hasn't eaten in days. Oh. Leva will understand. You've been busy helping the poor outside the palace. Mm. How's it going? Just as you predicted, she's obsessed with beauty, even eating flowers instead of food. Don't get too cocky. Huh? Hmm. Tomorrow, I'll bring people here as planned. Hmm. <laughs> Where have you been? I was just outside the palace. Lots of interesting stories there. Hmm. Like what? They say there's a witch in the forest who can cure all diseases. <gasps> hmm. Huh? She can turn a duck into a beautiful swan. Such magic can't be real, right? Desperate to be beautiful, Lima overcomes her fears and visits the witch alone. Beautiful. <gasps> Just drink this potion. <gasps> huh? <gasps> Where has mm. Leva gone? Let's split up and look mm. for her. Maybe Princess Leva went out to play. I see. Inform Amy so she won't worry. Mm. <laughs> Finally, when mm. the palace is in chaos, Leva returns. Hmm. The first person she wants to see is... Are you looking for me? <gasps> Princess Leva, huh. you look so different. Hmm. I must confess, from the first moment, I fell for you. I don't understand what you mean. I... I really like you. Huh? I have no such feelings for you, princess. <gasps> is there any way to make my face like my sister's? There is a way, but... Tell me quickly! The two sisters must never meet each other, or it won't work. Lita's desire to be beautiful goes too far. A moment without my sister around. Huh? Oh, huh? Amy, you said you'd be in the palace with Leva this morning. I just wanted to see you. I'm fine now. I want to go for a walk with you. Of course. What shall we have for lunch today? Uh. Mm. <gasps> huh? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Seeing those poor children, she, as Leva enjoys herself, <gasps> her sister appears. Oh! What's wrong, Leva? That was clearly Amy just now. What are you talking about? I don't understand. Enough! Leva, don't oh. go! Come back to the palace with me! I must have Amy's face forever, no matter the cost. I want Amy's face forever! We need your sister's voluntary agreement. How would Amy ever agree? I oh. finally found you. Why did you find me? Huh? Everyone's been worried about you. Huh. Stop pretending to care. What I want is your face. <gasps> Jack told me about today. Don't believe the witch's words. Hmm. I just want your face or I'll leave forever. <sighs> Leva, if that's what you want, I'm ready to exchange faces with you. But even if I become ugly, people will still love me. Then let's do it today. I still believe I'm right. The final point in the journey of beauty is the exchange. Face for face, soul for soul. Leva, if you ever have any grievances in the future, please talk to me. Yes? But are you willingly true? Hmm. Close your eyes. We shall begin right away. <laughs> My face looks just like hers now. 
Now you must learn to love yourself, dear. <laughs> Let's return to the palace, shall mm. we? Mm. Why don't I seize the opportunity to take Amy's face? Face wrapping must be consensual by both parties. I tempted Leva because she trusted everyone. So what should we do? It's almost time. The day I become queen is approaching. <laughs> Jack, have you had <laughs> breakfast? I've had breakfast, Amy. Sister, oh. I mean, you go to the room first. Mm. <gasps> Amy? Yes? <gasps> Princess Leva, what <gasps> trick are you playing now? I... how did mm. you figure it out? <laughs> Even if I look like Amy, you still won't love me, will you? I've met many beautiful girls, but it's only Amy's kindness <gasps> that has captured my heart. Princess Leva, even if you were as beautiful as a fairy, I still wouldn't love you. <laughs> Leva! Leva! Amy, let Leva have some time to think. <laughs> even if I look like Amy, you still won't love me, huh? <laughs> it seems my sister Amy was right. I've caused trouble for her, and now I understand. I want everything to return to how it was. <sighs> things going. She was exposed as soon as she met Prince Jack. <laughs> it seems that fate is on our side. Only you deserving can become queen. What's next? Hmm? We must separate the two sisters. Make <gasps> Leva hate Amy enough to want to become a sorceress to harm her. When that happens, Leva will willingly swap faces with you. <laughs> Being around someone as clever as me has improved you a lot. <laughs> So the witch <gasps> arranged everything. I was foolish to let them control me. <gasps> hmm? I won't let you win. Uh. Where's the library? Hmm. <laughs> This door seems heavy. Ouch! That hurts! <gasps> wow! So many books! If I remember correctly, the books about sorcery are on the highest shelf. Don't even think about making it difficult for me. Hmm. <gasps> hmm. I still haven't found the right one. Did the princess not sleep well last night? Uh, yeah. Princess Amy is trolling with Prince Jack in the flower garden. Hm? They're starting to drive a wedge between us. I won't fall for that. But if I don't show anger, it'll make <laughs> Tina suspicious. Uh, I have to play along a bit. If she comes here, don't let her in. <laughs> if I can't find the right book soon, I'll have to keep looking at Tynox's annoying face. Here. Mm. It was you, Tynax. You betrayed me. Tynax, she's already been captured. She's about to have a prison meal with <gasps> you, that's all. <gasps> <gasps> mm. 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 If you harm me, your <gasps> face will... Enough! <gasps> no more threats. Wait for your punishment. No! <gasps> How dare you restrain me! I am the future queen! Gagger, <gasps> escort her back to the palace for judgment. Hmm. 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 Amy, do you trust me to restore our faces? I trust you, Leva. <laughs> hmm. Remove all the flowers around the pond. When they let go of the extravagant illusions, everything returned to its rightful path. Ha ha! I'm finally back! 
You've truly grown up, dear. In the end, the villain was brought to justice. Though not perfect in appearance, <laughs> Eva is still cherished for her kind heart. <laughs> it's just her clumsiness that seems... Is this pot of porridge seasoned yet? It's not just seasoned. I poured the entire salt shaker. It's so salty! <laughs> <laughs> 